uh, help a child feel comfortable as their bird sex. Yeah. That's why you just travel around with those. Yeah, I got a couple of a few different messages. I got gender ideology that's one in schools. So I've got uh, children that never born in the wrong body. Right. I got this dad one here. My dad here. My dad. You should have one for uh, birthing people. <laughs> I'm gonna keep traveling to the US because they have conservative media here. Because it has, it's used off-label, it's never been approved by the FDA for this. So it's endometriosis for women as well. And it's the same exact drug we give to pedophiles to chemically castrate them. I kid you not, but it stops a child, like a 10-year-old girl, mostly girls falling into this craze today, from going into puberty. Then they go on the opposite sex hormones after this. Government pay for uh, transgender. No, no, operations. No, no, what do you call it? Uh, Sex reassignment surgery? Yeah. There's a neighbor of mine who had this issue. This girl that wanted it, she was, thought she was going to be a boy. But too young. Right. So As she yeah. progressed in life, yes. she became a girl. Yeah. Think that's the side rate. That. It's through the roof for these kids. It really is. Because it goes the, up if you transition. Gender dysphoria is a mental illness. We have studies into gender dysphoria going back like five decades. Yeah. And it's, it's 80 to 90 percent of the time, the kids with severe gender dysphoria from a young age, real gender dysphoria. Yep. Yeah. 80 to 90 percent of the time, they grow up. And the majority are, are gay or lesbian. Right. No big deal. Yep. It makes sense when you think about it. Really effeminate boys, a lot of them grow up to be gay. Right. Who cares? Yep. Yeah. Adolescent <laughs> girls who never had gender dysphoria because of social media. They say it's okay. And yeah, schools. Right. And the culture. And puberty sucks. And being a girl can be tough. And all these kids have something else going on. Autism is huge. It is. Oh. Don't worry about it. I'm just. It's for my protection. I get attacked. Oh. And stuff. Yeah. I've been doing this over a year all across Canada. I'm starting a U.S. tour. This is my first day out in Austin. You, you know what really bothers me is when you go on to HBO or Showtime, any of these stations, everything has to be, it can't be a normal husband and wife. Black Why do I got to go to a Starbucks you know? and look at a, a gay flag? <laughs> Who cares? No one cares. About I know. Just Nobody leave cares. me alone. Nobody cares. It's on the floor of the this house for calling for a ban on protesting your schools. CBC reported even. CTV. Newspapers, of course, they all report that I'm the bigot from British Columbia. But I don't care because it reached millions and it started a bunch of conversations. Yep. But you know what? Let's, just, big... let's just face it. Whatever. Yeah. Just call me whatever. He so. is fact. Yeah. Everything else is just That's distortion. Right. Exactly. That's right. All right, hey, good luck. I agree, guys. Going, buddy. Take it easy, man. Yeah, you too. I'll, I'll look. I'm going to look. All right, doing good work. All right, man. Cheers.